Oh, 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 oh. Friends by so face ID broke. Chad, how are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Listen, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, guys. I said I wasn't going to go live tonight. Uh, and then I did. And then I did. And then I did. But that's because I care about my viewers. And I want everybody to be entertained. It's a Friday night. It's a Friday night. And I know you people aren't going out tonight. You're sitting in your room like a loser. See, you're like a loser. What's up, Not Zo, Victor, John A, uh, Axel Worst, VM July, Katie, Katie again, Moxemba, Emo Linny, uh, hi Jordan, chat. Chat, I've just, listen. If I'm dead serious with you, I'm five Long Island Ice Teas deep right now. Okay, all right, all right. So you've got to bear with me on this stream. I've just come from uh, my Leaving Works drinks. Um, so, uh, I'm at, I'm, I'm, I'm balling. I'm balling right now. I'm balling right now. Caitlin, thank you for the three months. Harry, beyond so much AO3 have you been reading? Chad, I have not read a single one of these. I've only read the summary of one of them, which is the one I posted. Riverin, thank you for the two months. And Stuhub, thank you for the 38 months. Oh my god. I wasn't pre-drinking my own stream. Chad, I didn't even think I was going to be live tonight. How are we all doing? Who's... Is anyone watching? One in chat if you're watching the stream right now. Uh, is this a... Yeah, it's an America-friendly one. It's an America-friendly one. Okay, also I'd like to apologize. Did anyone watch the tub bar yesterday? Did anyone watch the tub bar yesterday? I don't know if you saw my actions on the tub bar. I got drunk. I got very drunk. I got incredibly drunk. Uh, stupid had Seb. Thank you for the two months. Um, where's that? Where's 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 the tweet, dude? I kid you not. You didn't get kicked out. I can't. How many people betted on me getting kicked out? How many people betted on me getting kicked out? By the way, I apparently they were doing channel points, and if I get kicked out or not. What the fuck? I bet 10k? That's absurd. That's absurd. Chat, I drink a lot, but there are two things I'm not. I'm not an ignorant drunk, and I'm not a violent drunk. I've only ever been kicked out of one place, and it was when I was... They framed me and Bill for doing drugs in the toilet because we were so drunk. That's the only time that's ever happened. That's the only time. Framed? I was framed. You were meant to get kicked out, though. No, I wasn't, but you're a weirdo drunk. You vaped a mic. Okay, chat. We should... <laughs> Where's the clip? Dude. Chat, you know, I, I was dead serious when this happened. Volume warning. You upped the microphone. You're free. Did you just try to vape my microphone? You fucking freak. Dude, I was dead serious. You know what's even worse, chat? I didn't even know the camera was on him. I did not see the camera. I was just going over to say hi to Toby, and I thought he handed me a vape. I I fucking forgot the bastard was live. Okay, okay. Because he, hey, chat, all the drinks were 30% off. So I didn't mind. Chat, doing eight shots for 20 quid was like, that's a bargain. That's that's a bargain. All right. How did it taste? It tasted incredible. Hello, Ghostified. It's like you guys see the edit someone made. Yeah, do you see the edit someone made? <laughs> Where is it? This is powerful. This is so powerful. Okay. Mate, I was so conked, and then I went to the club afterwards. Hit the club afterwards. Oof. Oof. What a night. What a night. What a night. 
Not my not my proudest night, but it was definitely a night, and it did happen. Did you come out as bi? Clap for anyone who saw my coming out tweet. I'm not bi. I did it for likes. <laughs> I did it for likes. I hope that was low sugar Pepsi. It was Nico's. Thank you for the one dollar. I want to go split die again because I had it last year and I look banging, but I fear getting called a Bilzo copycat. Don't do it. Don't do it. The reason I didn't go, the reason I went pink instead of blonde, is because I was getting called a, I was gonna get called a manifold copycat. Okay, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Chat, we're um, we're reading my fan fictions today. I've recently become aware that there are actual fan fictions of me, and it's mainly Jack Manifold, um, uh, which have been written. And they're hefty. It's a multiple chapter thing. It's a multiple chapter thing. Um, and I'm thinking, you know what? That's serious banter. That's serious banter if you get that one a read. Speaking of you, you're going to be streaming from Manifold to set while he's gone. Chat in one week, I'm getting the keys to Jack Manifold's place. And I'll be streaming from his setup a lot. And you're probably thinking, oh my god, nice. We get to see, uh, we get to see Average Harry in, high, in, in HD. No. He took his camera with him on the trip. Yes, so I'm still using my shitty webcam. <laughs> but it's, it's better lighting. It's better lighting, okay? It's definitely better lighting. When are you stealing Tom's play button? Um, when I can figure out how to disable the security system. I can definitely nick Toby's though. Toby just has them sitting in the corner of his office. I can fucking, I can fucking nick all of them and put them on my bag to be fair. Was that nice, Jack, to respect your boundaries? Yeah, Jack, my boundaries, no HD photos. Come on, come on, come on. You guys know the boundaries. And no perverts, and no perverts either. No perverts either. Okay, hold on. Um. What's it called? AO3? Are you open Ellie with trying people to visit Jack's room? Oh, yeah. If anyone wants to visit the Jack Manifold house, it's 10 gifted subs and you can come down. Hi, Aria. How are, hold on. Didn't Jack call you a pervert? Listen, Jack Manifold did call me a dirty pervert, but he didn't, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. No perverts, bad news about your stream title. Chat, we are, we're going into the, the dark area of average Harry viewers today. The perverts. Sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. Someone sound the alarm. Because their perverts are getting involved today, chat. This is a warning. This is a warning. Harry, they're smart of you and Tommy. Fuck off. All right, what? Okay, we're not reading that. We're not reading that. I'm not that drunk. I'm not that drunk. I'm not that drunk. Should we wait, chat? Do we start on AO3 or Wattpad? Chat, chat, do we start on AO3 or Wattpad? Wattpad? Also, why are you streaming for your stream tomorrow? Uh, the thing I was doing ended up um, stopping a lot earlier. And I'm like, you know what? I, uh, you, I'm not going to make you guys wait another day. AO3 will be higher quality. No, we're going to start on the garbage. I'm joking. I'm sure this is all very well written. Average Har Harry. Fuck me. There's free. Chat, there's free on Wattpad. There is three that I can find, at least. We have Average Harry X Mini Mouse. A Tale as Old as Time, Average Harry X Triple Mango Lost Mary, and John A X Minion? Hello? Hello? Okay, you know me. This is my baby right here. Are any of these serious? Harry was a lost boy who was deeply closeted and hooked on bare amounts of ketamine. His friends, Max G's, John A and Tubbo were worried. But everything changed after a chance encounter with triple. We're not doing that, Chat. We're getting an AO3. We're getting an AO3. Oh my god. Chat, someone sound the alarm. Eight found. Eight found. 
Someone sound the alarm. Nico, thank for the one dollar. By the way, I ordered the pillow. These are two pictures I picked for it. Yours is double-sided. No way we're actually getting Nico. So you're actually getting an average Harry pillow. That's badass. That's badass. That's badass. Only eight? There's only eight. We have. All right, chat, chat. All right, we have. I can't rest if I can't sleep by Melancholy's Coffee. No archive warnings apply. What does that mean? Anyone know what that means? This is Jack Manifold and Average Harry. Rain, stars, sun, moon, boys, kiss, boys kissing. <laughs> prescription drugs. <laughs> He's got prescription drugs in the tag. Hello? What am I on? Paracetamol. Harry is in love with Jack. Jack Manavod likes Average Harry. Average Harry gives the hug. Harry is a big softy, but we can't start on that, chat. No, chat, we're not starting on that. We're not starting on that. This one's... Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, wait, this is a Valentine's Day one. This one's a Valentine's Day one. <laughs> River, thank you for the one dollar. I'm getting alcohol so I can get through the stream. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. We have Lost Mary. Oh, Average Harry and his addiction to nicotine, anthropomorphic. <laughs> Average Harry. Oh, is this a tag of me? Oh, yeah. Oh, I have my own tag. I have my own tag. Average Harry, nicotine addiction, tubbo, spooky. Oh, this one's horror. Horror. As in your nicotine addiction starts appearing as a physical person who you have to interact with, beta read. Oh, is this like um, uh, the Omegaverse? Is this like the Omegaverse? What does beta read mean? No. What's a beta read? I'm an alpha, I don't know if I can read this. Beta read someone's, means someone's pre-read it. Yeah, I'd hope so. I'd hope so. All right, chat. Chat, we'll do a dramatic reading of Lost Mary by Anonymous. Uh, fucking hell, the hacker group. The hacker group. Mm -mm, summary. Average Harry starts seeing a strange woman sometimes. In the corner of his eye. This fic is 100% meant for just shits and giggles. Ideally hope it's not against his boundaries or anything. Well, it depends if you're a pervert. It depends if you're a pervert. Uh, it is solely meant to be daft, and Average Harry is uncomfortable with this. I will point blank delete all trace of it. I'm just adding to the content pool of Average Harry fan fictions. See the end of work for more notes. <clears throat> Let, oh, this one's scary. This one's scary. This one's scary. Hold on. I'm putting on scary music. Hi, Rosie. Let's put on scary music. Which one is this? Okay, that's that's scary monsters and nice sprites by Skrillex. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Let's put on uh oh creepy music. Oh, chat! I'm tweaking a bit. Chat! I'm tweaking a bit. How, what's the best way? Where do I put my... I'll put you... Chat, you guys are moving here. <clears throat> the first time Harry saw her, he nearly fell out of the window. <laughs> he burst out coughing, his vape falling out of his hand and clattering to the floor. And he waved his hand around to try and disperse the cloud of vapor to check what he'd seen was real. Dude, you need to stop vaping. Oh, this is fucking Tubbo. Dude, 
Dude, you need to stop vaping it. It's literally against my lease. I just saw a woman get hit by a car! He shouted. And that seemed to distract Tabo from the fact... From the fact his whole apartment was now mango-scented. <laughs> the two of them dashed to the window, the floor vape getting kicked across the room, and they desperately searched the street below. There was nothing. Oh, no, Cat, I'm scared. Cat, I'm scared. Harry? <laughs> Harry, did you take anything before you came here? Tubbo asked suspiciously. No, nah, swear down. There was literally a woman right there. Harry said, eyes raking the street. He could see the exact place she'd been standing in the middle of the road, wearing a bright pink and yellow sundress so horrific in colour that he couldn't help but stare at her. And then BAM! A car drove past. There hadn't been a fud or a scream. A yellow and pink sundress. Is it my vape? But one second she was in the middle of the road, and then the car passed, and she was gone. Harry knew how to connect dots. A woman? Tubbo asked, still disbelieving. Harry had now dropped to all fours. Wait, this might be perverted. Chat, this might be perverted. Harry has now dropped to all fours, scuttling across the floor in search of his vape. Tubbo could see where it was, but he didn't tell him. If he found it, he was going to start stress vaping. And he was already risking it with his landlord, as was. Chat, you know me. If there's one thing I love to do. If they love to, if there's one thing I love to do, it's vape. There's one thing I love to do, is stress vape. Nico, thank you for the $1. They added voiceovers to character AI. Someone made your voice? That's not. Is that true? Oi, sound the alarm, chat. Sound the alarm. Harry spotted his vape halfway across the floor and scrambled for it. When Tubbo saw him lift it to his mouth, he groaned. If you're going to keep vaping, do it outside, he sighed. Harry didn't protest. He wanted to investigate. Chat is one thing I love vaping and investigating. I love investigating. As he went to the door, he swore he saw a flash of pink and yellow in the corner of his eye. But when he turned to it, there was nothing. Oh, no, chat, I'm getting scared. I'm stress vaping. I'm stress vaping. There was absolutely nothing outside. No streak of blood, no dead body, just an empty Brighton street. Harry got the feeling that he probably looked like a right fucking weirdo, dressed in North Face with neon pink hair and a vape in one hand. Why, this is rude. This is rude. Hold on a second. Wandering around in the middle of the road and looking around. At some point, his phone buzzed with a text from Tubbo, telling him to look up, and he saw Tubbo in the window. His phone rang. He picked up. Shockingly, it was Tubbo. Any luck with your woman in the street? Fuck off, Harry said, fairly lightheartedly. Tubbo in the window held up his middle finger. Oh, that's not true, Chet. Tubbo doesn't swear. Anyway, I'm going to bed now, Tubbo said. See you whenever. Sure, Harry replied. He could just get an Uber to the train station. I could. That is true. Exalif. Exalif. Thank you for the prime. I could get an Uber to the station, Chet. Usually I walk it, though. He hung up. He could not, in fact, get an Uber to the train station. There was a driver's strike. So instead, he had to get a taxi. Which is when he found out there was a train strike. <laughs> and he had no way to get home until at least 7 a.m. tomorrow. Not those damn train strikes, Chad. That's why we need to privatise the rail. By the time he was back at Tubbo's and crashing on his semi-comfortable couch, he'd more or less forgotten about the woman being hit by a car. And by the next day, he'd assumed it was a hallucination. 
It was not. <laughs> Big thanks to my friend for beta reading. If anyone finds out it was me that wrote this, I will off myself. So if you think you know who this is, you absolutely do not. Clat, clat, do you know who this is? Guys, everyone take your guesses. Everyone take your guesses. Who do you reckon it was? Is that it? <laughs> oh, that's it. As mint. As well sick. As well sick. Chat, who do you reckon that was? Chatter. It was definitely Rosie Rook. It was definitely Rosie Rook. 100% it was Rosie Rook. Can you leave kudos? How do I leave kudos? Is this kudos? Oh, let me leave kudos. Um... This was well sick. Oh, wait, do I not do kudos? Oh, there's a button. <laughs> wait, let me just leave a comment. <laughs> Who the fuck is 24 horsecock 300? Who, Claire, is that one of you? That was one of you. That was put three minutes ago. Oi, who is that? Show yourself in chat. Show yourself. That's not, that's not normal. That's not a normal username. Yellow Ducky, thank you for the tier one for two months. Please meow. No, I'm not meowing. Uh, oh, kudos. There you go. You've got a kudos. You're welcome. You're welcome. What else have we got then? Chat, there are some there's some powerful work on here. We can do... Um... Oh my god. Yeah, we've got a good one next. Madga, thank you for the three months. Chat. Chat, this one's called I Got Love Sick All Over My Floor. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> we... No, chat, chat, chat. I think this one's going to be well sick. I think it's going to be really normal. I think this one's going to be very normal. I think it's a very normal thing to do. Let's do a, uh, let's do a, a dramatic, let's put on, oh, let's put some music on. Guys, surely it won't be perverted. Surely it won't be perverted. <clears throat> Jack was never, <laughs> Jack was never really one to fall in love accidentally. <laughs> well, something changed when he met Harry. I can't, oi, I can't do this. No, I can't do this. Oi, I can't do this. I can't do this. Where do we get to? It's not, a, it, I don't think it's actually filthy perverted. No, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I refuse, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse. Chat, I'm doing that. Is it actually true that I have my voice on character AI? Do it. <sighs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Jack was never one to fall in love accidentally. But something changed when he met Harry. His heart leaped in his throat, even at the mention of his name. And he couldn't get enough of those eyes. And the way he'd say his name. His smell. His looks. And God. That voice. <laughs> it all did something to him. And it, <laughs> and it started making Jack question things. But Jack shoved all those feelings down months ago. So he assumed his feelings for Harry had dissolved. He was just confused. 
But then Harry started flirting with him. Frequently. And Jack's heart skipped five beats. And jumped out of his chest whenever Harry would make these comments. Jack would cover his face and kick his feet like a teen girl with a huge crush on a popular guy at school. But Jack hated the feeling of falling in love so easily for someone. Again. But here he was, all alone, crying in his room over another stupid crush. He didn't like these feelings. He was straight. But how could a straight guy have feelings for another man? It didn't make sense. And he didn't want to think about it. His heart ached so bad it felt good. He hated this feeling. Knowing he won't ever be with Harry hurt him in ways he didn't know was possible. And now he was all alone. Questioning everything again at the unknowing hands of his dearest friend. Every single compliment from Harry made him almost vomit. It was so sweet coming from his voice. It was something he wanted to get used to listening to. He loved when Harry would compliment him because he knew it was sincere and honest. But that didn't stop Jack from shaking so fucking badly whenever Harry threw an occasional flirtatious comment at him. Jack would shake so badly and he couldn't control it. Jack, he's stimming. Jack Manifold is stimming. He couldn't stop himself from breathing heavy and crying after a call with Harry from sheer excitement and love. He couldn't help it. Not one bit. Ooh. So Jack agreed to hang out with Harry. Yeah, it was Valentine's Day. But Jack convinced himself it was coincidental and had to mentally prepare himself because he didn't know what Harry was going to wear. Fuck off, what am I going to wear? Fuck off, what am I going to wear? And God forbid he showed up in a suit because Jack didn't think he was ready to see something so attractive. And the thought of that made Jack shake violently and almost throw up. Why does he keep shaking? Why does he keep shaking? Someone tell him to stop. Someone hold him. Because he couldn't help but feel everything at full intensity when it came to Harry. He just did something to him. And then he heard his doorbell. And Jack took a shaky breath and went over to his door. Smoothing out his clothes. He looked decent. Long sleeves with a white undershirt and black pants. He basically looked like Eminem. But if Eminem was a twink. He opened the door. He opened the door, and there Harry was, standing in front of Jack. And Jack nearly cried, because Harry looked so pretty. Harry was in a black shirt and baggy jeans. <laughs> and that made Jack's heart almost skip ten or more beats. Jack felt himself go red below the collar. The tips of his ears went red, and he felt his knees almost buckle. <laughs> All right, you ready, or do you need more time? Jack asked, considerate and caring. I, I'm all right. I just, I just need to get my wallet, keys, and my phone real quick. Jack stated, shifting his weight from foot to foot, his throat closing up as he felt his face get warm. Harry smirked and looked Jack up or down, up and down, clearly checking him out with no shame. Jack was already swoon <laughs> and nervous as hell. 
he did not need something else to happen because God forbid that he got something else like an awkward boner. Jack cringed at the fault. Guys, we're nearly done. Chat, we're nearly done. We're nearly done. Guys, we're nearly done. Sound the alarm, though. I think there's a pervert in chat. Nice outfit. It really suits the bleached hair look. Harry complimented. And Jack almost fell to his knees. <laughs> I think he's got an iron deficiency. The room was spinning. And he felt dizzy. But he was fighting for what was left of his mind. Harry waited patiently as Jack got his things. Then they headed out. Harry opened the car door for Jack. And he couldn't help but smile at the gesture. Then they just started driving. I do not know how to drive. And Jack didn't know exactly where they were going. So he just looked out the car window and enjoyed the ride. The coolness of the car cooling down his blush and then calmed down. He felt the car slow to a stop. They were at some cute cafe and bakery. Oh, Claire, it was the Hello Kitty Cafe in Brighton. It was the Hello Kitty Cafe. Jack smiled. How thoughtful. Harry quickly opened his door and ran to Jack's side just to open his door and help him out. And Jack felt himself. Oh. <laughs> Jack felt himself almost fall into Harry. He was already falling for Harry harder than anyone he's ever loved. He might be lovesick. But he might actually be in love with his friend. And he's not sure if it's a bad thing anymore. What about Eleanor Neal? At least he found someone that can make him happy. The only downsides are that one... Harry probably didn't have feelings for him. Two. Jack hasn't slept in a few nights because of this stupid crush. <laughs> Harry grabbed Jack's hand with that mischievous smile he had. Jack felt his inside set on fire. He somehow found his balance and tried to keep a calm mindset. But how could he when Harry was holding his hand? Jack felt a wave of good nausea hit him. He stumbled over his feet and Harry kept him steady. Jack held back his full body shakes and tears. <laughs> Why did he have to fall in love with his friend? He didn't know. Harry and Jack entered the cafe and were greeted with the sights of cats. <gasps> Kitty! A cat cafe? Jack's heart melted. Harry guided Jack to their table and Jack couldn't help but smile, his full-hearted smile. He felt so loved, more than anyone ever has. Harry didn't insult him like the rest of his friends did. Harry was a good friend, that is not true. Some of the shit I say to Manifold is, is, would, would let, would make any other normal person take their own life. But Jack didn't like this. He didn't like the fact that one of his friends made him feel this way. He couldn't like guys. He wasn't supposed to. He was straight. But how could a straight man love another man to this extent? Jack was confused. But he felt comfortable with this. Jack was confused, but he felt comfortable with this. And he didn't like how oddly attractive Harry was when he talked so happily and excitedly about streaming and the Muppets. It wasn't fair. <laughs> Fuck off. Harry and Jack talked for a while and decided on what they wanted, while Jack gushed about how adorable the cats are. And one of the ones that were brought out jumped onto Jack's lap, and Jack just cooed the cat. Oh my god, righty-ox! You're the goat. 
Thank you for the raid. We're reading a fan fiction. It's incredible. Chat, is everyone, are we all having a good time? Are we all having a good time? Mod, shout out Righty Ox. Are we all having a good time reading this? <laughs> are we all having a blast? <laughs> We're all... <laughs> I think it's the worst stream I've ever done. What's the fanfic about? You'll you'll catch on, don't worry. Harry and Jack talked for a while and decided what they wanted. While Jack talked about how adorable the cats are. And one of the ones that were brought out jumped onto Jack's lap. And Jack just cooed at the cat, petting it and having the best day ever. He'd get to pet cats and eat sweets and hang out with Harry. Could it get any better? Apparently it could. Because Harry kept flirting and complimenting Jack the whole time. To the point where Jack almost passed out <laughs> because his heart was beating too quickly. And he felt lightheaded. He sipped his sugary coffee and tried to ignore the flush on his face and tip of his nose. He went more red below the collar with each compliment. Jack, blushing and giggling. He was starting to get used to it. So I think he's just got scarlet fever. I think, the, I think he's actually just ill. I think he needs some paracetamol. This isn't normal. This is not normal. Jack, blushing and giggling. He was starting to get used to it. Finally. Or so he thought. But when Harry nonchalantly set his hand. <sighs> but when Harry nonchalantly set his hand on Jack's thigh. He almost passed the fuck out. Alex Claudia, thank you for the tier one. His vision went blurry and he felt so sick, yet he felt so good. Harry seemed to pick up on that because he moved his hand. Sorry, mate, he said. No, no, it's, it's all right, Jack reassured. Slightly embarrassed about his own voice because of how shaky it was. Then Jack went back to petting the cat. Looks kind of like crumb, doesn't it? Jack said. Petty. <laughs> apparently, apparently, the streamer Jack Crumb, Jack said, petting the cat that he insisted on calling Venus. He might buy this cat, actually. Can you do that at cat cafes? He was debating it. Yeah, you're actually right. It's because Crumb's character is a calico cat, Harry said, reaching his hand over and and uh, petting the cat. He scooted himself closer to Jack, scratching the kitty behind its ears. Jack chuckled softly. But as soon as it started, it ended. And they had to pay the bill. But as soon as Jack got out of his wallet, Harry nudged Jack's hand down. Oh, are we gonna do drugs? Oh, and handed the waiter the money. This is this is not accurate. Jack, this is not accurate. I have never once paid. I've paid for Jack Manifold's uh, meal once. Jack Manifold has probably spent about a grand on me. Okay, that guy's like my fucking pimp. This is the most I would never pay. Let's make that clear. The man's a millionaire. Jack looked at Harry, surprised. 
and thankful. Harry, you don't have to pay for it, Jack said, a smile on his face. Oh, I did though. I'm the one who took you out today, so I'm going to pay for everything. Harry said, giving the cat one last goodbye pat when Jack waved the waiter over. Can I buy this cat? Jack asked. Of course. She's a shelter pet. She usually doesn't like anyone. I guess she likes you, the waiter said. Then she went to get a carry for the cat. And she came back and the cat willingly went inside. Jack took the carrier and stood up, thanking the waiter and paying for the cat after insisting that Harry shouldn't pay. And despite Harry's good points, Jack stayed persistent. They left with the cat, and Jack felt better already. Oh, chat, we have one paragraph left. We have one paragraph left. Uh, that's a lie. We've got three, but they're very short. They got in the car and drove Jack back home. Then Harry walked Jack inside, carrying the cat in the cat carrier. That makes sense. That makes sense. Harry had another bag with him that Jack ignored. Oh my god, am I getting unpack it? And when Jack opened his door, Harry walked in and set the carrier down. Jack shut the door behind them. Harry set his bag down as well, and Jack opened the carrier, and the cat immediately started meowing for attention. Meow, meow. Harry sat next to Jack on his couch and covered Jack's eyes. He hummed in confusion. When Harry moved his hands away, Jack saw a bouquet of flowers and a box of chocolates in Harry's hand. His eyes started watering and he felt his heart do triple backflips, skipping at least ten beats along with it. He hugged Harry, squeezing him tight. So, uh, will you be my valentine? Harry asked. A sly smile on his face. Jack nodded and Harry gently wrapped his arms around Jack. Happy Valentine's Day, Jack, Harry said. Happy Valentine's Day, Harry, Jack said. <laughs> and just like that, Jack had the best day ever with the person he's loved much more than anyone else. What about Eleanor Neal? And Harry finally got to tell his inspiration, his feelings. What a fairy tale ending. We're done. We're done. Cat, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> oh my god. Renunu, thank you for 100 bits. I don't know what I've walked into. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Cat, that was powerful. <laughs> That got 10 gifted, Aria. That got me 10 gifted. <laughs> Aria, thank you so much. You're the goat. Thank you. Thank you. I was scared. I gift him because it's over. That's fair. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. That was um, potentially the worst thing I've ever done on stream chat. Would, does anyone else agree? Show of hands. Where's my hat? Where'd I put my hat? Where'd I put my fucking hat, dude? Chat, does anyone know where I put my hat? Oh, we'll just bang on this. That's a little bedtime story. It's a little bedtime story I've just done there. I refuse to believe Jack wasn't just going through nicotine withdrawals throughout the story. He just had the shake. Man, I actually think he was just ill. I'm not an absolute religious ill. River and thing for the $1. I'm leaving to go club on with friends. I need more than normal to forget this. I hope God strikes me down and I haven't have to think about this ever again. I don't blame you. Enjoy the club. I can tell you've been pre-drinking because you fucking had like four typos in that donation message. Um, um, okay, what what is this character AI thing? Is it perverted? Because I had a pervert on character AI, but I got it reported and taken down. 
But they have my voice on there. Six point seven thousand. Hey. This fucking sucks. This fucking sucks. <laughs> I've been put behind a paywall. I'll make an account. I'll sign up with Google. I'll sign up with Google. What's Chai? Chai AI. This shit. Chai is tea. Yeah, like Spider-Verse, isn't it? Is it this? Oh, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Absolutely, I'm not doing that. Pervert alarm. Chai tried to sexually assault me. What? What? What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? No, I'm going to, Chad, I'm going to get into a long, loving relationship with myself. Oh, I need to enter in a username. Average Harry. Date of birth. 24th of May, 2005. Does anyone chat have the same birthday as me? I understand and agree to the policies. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, I forgot I made an account. I forgot I made an account before. And chat, the pervert... The pervert one is still up. The pervert one is still up. On my account. And I don't want to point fingers... But it was created by Ronnie sixty three. Ronnie, what's happening? Ronnie, what's happening? Ronnie, what's happening here, Ronnie? 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 What's this? What's happening? Are you a pervert? Chat, sound the alarm. Chat. Chat. It's going off. It's going off on full blast. There are perverts in the chat. There is a pervert. Ronnie has landed, is a pervert. Get him out of here, mods. Mods, get him out of here. Can you, do, does this still work? I don't think it does. Dude, you guys like that. You guys like that. Chat, you survived. You survived the top, that was Toxic Yowie. That was Toxic Yowie. That was Toxic Yowie. Good night, Crypt. Right. Chat, it's 1am here. It's 1am here. Um, I hope you all had. To everyone, was everyone, if you're new, make sure you're following the stream. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry to do such a short stream. But I'm, oh, I'm quite uh, drunk anyway. Um, I'm, I should be live tomorrow. You read one fanfic? Yeah. And it was great. And it was great. Hello? Hello? Um, chat, should we raid Glenn's room again? Should we raid Glenn's room? 
Hell yeah. All right, chat. Um, love you guys. Thank you for coming in. Um, and I apologize for uh, the short stream. This is Glenn's room, a dude we found. I'm not going to go aggressive and shaking you. He's insane. He's insane. If you want to have an absolute fever dream, fucking watch him. Join my Discord. Good night, Rush. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. There's an event being held in the Discord tomorrow. Um, love all of you. If you want to get involved in the event, there's been new people in the community. If you want to make friends, join the Discord. It's been popping recently. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Follow the Twitter, and I love you all. Bye.